it's Ace here and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make your very own eyeless jack mask. Now I already made this video back in 2015 probably, maybe 16, I don't know. But back then in the day my video sucked. sucked. So I'm here to make an updated, more better quality version. I needed to do this video anyways because I changed the other eyeless jack mask into something else and I turned the old one into the marionette. You guys can't see it but it's on the shelf back there. But this right here is what the outcome is going to look like so if you guys like what you see then stay tuned. So without further ado, let's get into it. So here's the mask that we're going to be customizing. I got this bad boy on eBay. And if you guys want to order this exact same mask then I will leave a link down below and it will lead you directly to the eBay seller. But anyways, I'm sure you already have a mask if you're watching this, but anyways, so first things first with customizing this, you're going to want to adjust it to your face shape. And keep that in mind, guys. If you order this mask off of eBay, this is a really big mask. Like, this almost does not fit my face. It's really big. Once it's on there, it fits okay, but it's just around the chin area is where it really has the most problems for me. But just be wary of that. If you do order this mask, just know that it is a little big. So if you don't have a bigger head, then it may not fit you as well. But either way, we're going to do some adjusting to it. So here on the chin is where my main problem is. So I'm probably just going to put a line right here, just like so. And then I'm going to cut that and try to shorten it down a little bit so it will fit to my chin a little bit better. So I'm going to cut that right now and adjust it accordingly. All right, and there we go. So that should hold for now. So the biggest problem that I'm seeing with this mask, and probably the most obvious one, this mask has a humongous nose. This dude has been telling some lies because that thing is out there, boy. It's freaking huge and it's not going to look right with eyeless jack, so we're going to have to take care of that. And this goes for your guys' mask as well. If you don't have this exact same one, you're going to have to cut the nose off because eyeless jack does not have a nose on his mask, and if he does, it's a barely visible one. You guys may be a little afraid to cut your mask up, but trust me, it's going to look 100% better in the outcome. So the mouth doesn't really matter, we're just primarily focused on the nose here. So go ahead and start lining it up and make it flat with the forehead. Alright, so we basically just made a big triangle there on this dude's nose. So you're going to want to go ahead and cut that big old honker off. So this should be fun. I've always wanted to cut off a nose. I've done it before, but still. Alright, so once you're done with your plastic surgery there, you can do what you want with that. Alright, and now your dude should have a huge triangle in the middle of his face. So now we're going to move on to the next part of the cutting here. And that is going to be the roundness of his eyes. Some people would probably just leave it like that, and I mean, that's okay, but it doesn't really look like eyeless jack to me. So what we're going to do here, we're going to do a quick outline, and we're going to do a circle right here. Because that's what eyeless jack's eyes really look like. He doesn't have these little bird wing eyes. I don't draw perfect circles the first time. I'm not like Spongebob, but, you know. But that looks good for now, so you just go ahead and do the same on the other side, and once you have those drawn out, you can then get the scissor, and you can cut around that and get that out. Alright guys, so once you have his eyes and his nose cut out, it should look something like this. Just as a quick tip, if you did cut around here, you may have some jagged edges, so I would advise on getting some sandpaper or something and going around there and smoothing that out. Anyway, so the next step here is, is going to be for his nose, and as you can see, it's hollowed out and there's nothing back there. So what you're going to want to do is get you like a sponge or something, but I don't have a sponge, so I'm using a paper towel, and it will work just the same. And you're going to want to put it under here and press it up against his nose as much as you can. It's a complicated process to explain, but it's actually pretty easy. It's not that hard, actually. I did it previously here on my puppet mask from Five Nights at Freddy's. As you can see, I did it and I smoothed it over and it actually turned out looking pretty good. Here's the back. You can't really tell what I did, but there was a sponge in there, just like this one. And I pushed it up in there as much as I could and then I just added layers of tape until eventually it gave it this shape and that actually ended up working perfectly so I'm going to be doing the same thing for Eyeless Jack here. So like I said you're going to want to make this look as flat as possible but you don't want it to really look like a nose you know you just want it flat so I'm going to put this tape over here and then once you have it all taped down in the back it should be all flat here. Again I can't really explain it that well but it's my process of how I do it but you know just keep your fingers pushed up so it'll keep its shape and keep adding layers of tape until it's all smoothed over up top and then you could start to add layers of tape on the back to hold it down and then eventually it will hold that shape and it won't go anywhere alrighty guys so once you have done that it should look something like this or a little bit close to it anyways but that's done for the most part but the overall shape you want to have is just you know just a flat nose and a completely flat face we're going to move on to the next step here, and that is sanding the mask. And I have this little sanding stick here, and that's going to be perfect for this mask. I kind of started up here just to see if it would work, and it worked out pretty good. So just get you some sandpaper or a fingernail file or anything that's rough, just so you can go over it, because these masks, they have a really smooth finish. 
and when you're doing paper mache it's not going to grip onto it as much. Same with the tape, if you have a rougher surface then the tape will grip to the mask easier. So go ahead and go on there and hit that thing up with the sandpaper or whatever you have. Alright guys, so I just got through sanding Jack here and he is pretty rough. This is in rough condition right now. So the next thing you're going to want to do here is put the outer layer on the mask. And what I mean by that is we got to cover up all this duct tape and stuff. So what you guys are going to need for this next step is some Elmer's glue. The gel kind can work as well, but I tend to use the white one whenever I'm working with stuff like this. So just empty all your glue that you have into a bowl. Okay, I think this will get the whole mask covered. Let's hope so. Some people are a little confused on what this process is that I do for my mask. So to start this off, you're going to want to get yourself some paper. And I'm using this lined school paper here. And basically you're going to want to rip it into shreds like this. And make sure that there's no even lines on it. Just make sure it's all rough on the edges because it will hold a whole lot better like that. But yeah, just rip the paper into thin little strips like this and you can begin to work on your mask. And so basically what I do here, I got a little piece. Um, we're going to measure it out, see, because we need to cover that up right there. So it's going to have to overlap just a little bit. So about right there would be good. And rip that and then get the little piece of paper and run it through the glue and wipe it on both sides. Wipe any excess glue on the bowl and then you can place it onto your mask just like so. All right, now you may have a few wrinkles in there, but that's okay because you can iron those out if you really want to. That looks pretty good, so you're going to want to do that over the entire mask. In some places, you're going to have longer strips, like down here, you want that little space to be covered. Over here, you'll probably put like a long strip over that. But, you know, you get the point, so just cover the entire mask with paper. So hopefully that helped you guys understand it a little bit better. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do that, and I'll show you guys what I have once I'm finished. Alright guys, so once you have that all finished up, it should look a little bit like this, and I think it turned out pretty cool. And just remember guys, you don't have to have a completely smooth surface on here because it's a creepypasta character, you know? They're not going to be perfect. And plus he's a killer wearing a mask, you know? Your, your mask isn't going to look completely clean and smooth all around the edges, you know? So even if you do have a few lines and creases here and there, then it's fine. Now comes the fun portion of the mask, and that is painting it. Eyeless Jack's mask is completely blue, so I have a few different blues here. I got this bright blue, I got this two blue, and cobalt blue. I might mix a little bit of black here and there, just to give it a little bit of a darker look in some places. Like around the eyes, it might be a little bit of a brighter blue, and as it expands out, it'll slowly get darker. So anyways, I'm going to mix up a blue here and see what I can come out with. Alright guys, so here it is a few days later, and I finally got this dude painted blue because I've just been busy with stuff, but he's finally blue now, so the next step we're going to want to move on to, um, it's not the tears just yet, we're going to do that last. Now this next step right here isn't really necessary for your mask, but I'm just going to do it to mine personally because I think it'll look cooler. And that is, I'm going to do a technique I call smoking it over, and what I mean by smoking it over, um, basically I get a lighter or a candle or some sort of flame, and I'll hold it there and I'll hold it over the open flame for a little bit. And I'll do that all over the mask and eventually it'll just have all this smoky looking pattern all over it. I'll demonstrate really quick just to show you guys what I mean by this. Um, let's see here. So say if I want some smudges there on his forehead just to make it look a little bit darker. I'll get the lighter and I'll just run it over his forehead. I wish you guys could see this. Okay, and as you can see there it gave him sort of like a little dark spot right there. And you don't have to do that all over the freaking mask, but just, you know, get here and there to make it look older and more more gritty, you know? So, if you do that, it's going to make your mask go from 0 to 100 and make it look 100 times more better. And also, I would advise if you're going to do this technique, um, don't use the lighter for the entire mask because you're not supposed to have a lighter lit for more than 15 seconds, I believe it is. So if you guys don't want to risk blowing up your lighter in your hand, or if you just don't have enough fuel, then I would suggest getting a candle because this technique works as well. Here, I'm just going to show you guys again. I'm just lightly going over it. Oh, wow, okay. You can see that it automatically makes a difference. You know, some people would do this with paint, like they would add a little bit darker paint like black here and there but you know I feel like this is a natural way of doing it and it makes it look pretty cool so um, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to um, go smoke it over and then I will show you guys what I have once I'm finished okay guys so once you have the mask smoked over it should look a little bit like this you know it's not too black and it's not too blue you can mo now move this around with a tissue and just you know go all over the mask like this and as you can see, it's not really that prominent anymore, but it still has that smoky effect, which is really cool. Alrighty guys, so if you just did that step, then now your mask should look like a really cool smoky blue.
So up next here, we're going to add the teardrops. At least I think it's teardrops. I don't, I don't exactly know what the stuff is that comes out of his mask. What I would advise for making the tears, if you guys have one, is get a hot glue gun because that is going to give you the most realistic liquid looking effect and just start from the bottom of the tear and then go up and, you know, make it look like a tear is falling. Again, like a lot of things, I don't have a hot glue gun. And again, like everything else, I have an alternative for everything. So what I'm going to be using is my Apple Barrel Glossy Black Paint. And no, I'm not going to be painting on the teardrops because I don't want them to be two-dimensional. I want them to be three-dimensional and pop out a little bit. Like in certain lighting, I want you to be able to see the tears. So what I did, I got my paint and I just did a little drop and then I did a line with it. And it made like a perfect tear shape. I'll probably have a video on screen there playing of what I did in the process I did to do it. It wasn't that hard to be honest, the five girl could do it. But getting them to look actually skinny is the problem, so just try to do as little bit of paint as possible and make skinny lines. But again, you guys don't have to do this. If you have hot glue, then do that definitely because it will look a thousand times better. Alrighty, cool. So we have a little teardrop there and that doesn't look that bad. And I have a bunch of these things, so I'm just going to go ahead now and I'm going to super glue them all down onto the eye socket. And once I have that finished up, I will come back to you guys with the last step. Alrighty guys, so here's what I have so far on the mask, and it is looking pretty good. I've got the um, teardrops finally put on there. Um, I think the hot glue would have worked a little bit better, to be honest. But, you know, this it still gives that 3D effect, you know, like you can tell it's really there. But I probably won't keep it like this. Like, eventually, once I actually do get a hot glue gun, I'll actually peel that off and I'll redo that. But yeah, it's looking pretty cool thus far. You can really tell it's Eyeless Jack now, so the only thing you really have to do now to the mask is put in the black part here so, you know, you won't be able to see your skin color. You can use any fabric, really, as long as you can see through it. But, you know, I'm just using this little jersey-looking mesh kind of fabric here, and I cut this out of an old shirt, and as you can see, you can kind of see through it, so that's what I'm going to be using for his eyes. But, you know, just go on the back here and flip it around and cut you out a square a little bit bigger than the size of the eye hole, and know like so um i don't really have to demonstrate this you guys should get the idea but you know just get you some tape and put it in there somehow as long as it stays and it looks good then that's all that really matters so um yeah just like that so i'm going to tape that down the side there and then i'm going to go around here add a strip here there and on the bottom so once you are finished, it should have something sort of like that, you know, and you can get the idea. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, and I will show you guys what I have in the finished product. Alrighty, guys, and once you have finished all those steps, you should now have your finished product. And I think he turned out absolutely awesome, so here's what he looks like. But yeah, he looks pretty cool. As you can see, he's got the black tear marks, which could have looked a little bit better. That's the only thing I really have an issue with with the mask, but other than that, everything else is pretty awesome. You can sort of tell that they're 3D, you know, they pop out. Whenever I get a hot glue gun, I'm going to be fixing that up and painting it again. So, again, like I said, if you had hot glue, then do that. But, you know, that's just what I came out with at the moment. So, I'm about to put the mask on and show you guys what that looks like. Mm-hmm. Fits just like a glove. But, yeah, this is what it looks like whenever I'm wearing it so far. I apologize if my voice is a little bit muffled, so I have to get a little closer to the microphone. But, yeah, talking in this mask isn't really an option unless you're going to be yelling at somebody. But as far as breathing goes, I can breathe pretty well. You know, I got these eye holes here with the mesh in it, so it lets in enough air for me. But with all masks, you know it's going to get hot eventually, so, you know, you might not want to wear it for too, too long. Anyway, so I'm about to put the hood on, and I'm going to see what that looks like. Alrighty, and so here we are. So this is what I look like whenever I'm wearing the mask. And here we... Oh my god, I just burped in the mask. Oh, take it off. I hate myself sometimes. Anyways, like I was saying before I almost freaking threw up in this thing, this is what it looks like whenever I'm wearing it, and it looks pretty cool. I'm probably not going to be using this exact hoodie whenever I'm cosplaying with it. I plan on updating it to like a leather sort of hoodie. Like it'll have leather on it and it'll have a few scraps and stuff for his weapons. And maybe a little bit of a bigger hood so it'll go over his forehead. But other than that, I think this looks pretty cool. Okay, I take it back. It is getting hard to breathe in this thing, so I'm going to go ahead and take it off. But before I do, I'm going to do a few creepy poses to the camera. But anyways guys, that is how you make your very own eyeless jack mask. Let me know down in the comments below how you guys think I did on the mask. So just give me a rating 1 through 10. I really love this mask and for my own personal rating of it, I'm going to give it a 9. So yeah everybody, you can now go and eat kidneys and surf the deep web. And also you're going to be properly attired for the occasion. 
And real quick before I end the video, I just want to ask your guys' opinion on something. So back in 2016, I made a video where I was cosplaying as Eyeless Jack. And basically, Eyeless Jack is one of Zalgo's proxies, and that's in my stories, that's not anything official. Anyway, so Eyeless Jack was Zalgo's proxy in that video. And in the video, he was just describing what Zalgo's gonna do once he gets here, and he's going to describe what Zalgo does to you and everything, and he's showing off his bag of kidneys he has in the video. And you know, it's pretty spooky stuff. But the video quality just wasn't quite there back then. But the audio on that video was mwah, perfecto. And basically, I was going to be planning to remake that video one day. And I just wanted to know if you guys would like to see that or not. So let me know down below if you guys would like to see that remade or not, because I would love to do that one day. I got an idea for one where he goes on the dark web, but I'll talk about that one later. And so yeah guys, that is about it. I hope you all like this tutorial. And if you guys actually do end up making an Eyeless Jack mask like this, then I would absolutely love to see it. So if you guys can, then try to link me your pictures down below, and I will definitely check them out. So anyways, I hope you liked the video. Please leave a comment down below. Hit that like button, and if you're not already, please subscribe. And also hit that little notification bell to be alerted for whenever I upload. I hope you liked the video, and I'll see you all in the next one. This is Eyeless Jack.